Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to change oil and oil filter on Suzuki DR350S. For this oil change you will need a box of gloves, an oil filter, I use uh, this brand called High Flow Filter. Uh, this is the Suzuki part number. Uh, two quarts of oil, 8mm wrench, 19mm socket, 12mm socket, 17mm socket, possibly a screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, and or a 6mm wrench. So next thing we're going to do is take 17 millimeter wrench in the socket and we're going to loosen up the oil plug bolt. It's located just right here. And I didn't mention is that I warmed up my motorcycle for about 15-20 minutes and then I let it sit for about 10 minutes. I wanted the oil to warm up so it uh, drains faster just like in the car. And while the oil is still draining from the bottom of the bike, we're going to loosen up this drain, the frame drain plug and drain the oil right here. Be careful because it'll shoot up forward. So make sure you position your oil pan correctly. Here it goes, all over my hands and a tire but it's it's going right in the oil pan so while the oil is still draining from the bike in the frame we're going to focus on the oil filter so you need eight millimeter socket I'll let the oil drain from there as well it's going in the pan better in the pan than on me or the bike While you're unscrewing it, hold the ca oil filter cap or press it down because there's a spring and it'll shoot out and fly on the ground. Pull out the old oil filter inspected for chunks of metal or silver stew mine looks pretty good this is the new oil filter that I use it's high flow premium oil filter HF 136 Suzuki part number o-ring it came it was stuck to the old oil filter like this I had to peel it off this o-ring goes right here because I looked at the new filter and it didn't have an o-ring and I was like what? so this is the new oil filter and this hole goes on the inside and this goes on the outside you press it in like this you take your uh, oil filter cap with the spring and the spring is supposed to press on this circle right here and install it all right so now we tighten it I'm not forcing it all at all. I'm just kind of slowly twerking it. And now we're just gonna wipe it off, all the oil that's spilled. Okay, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to screw this in here. And it has a copper washer right here. Make sure you, you have it on and you know it's in good condition. Uh, 
nice and snug putting that over tightened I'm going to put the drain plug back in here all right so now we focus in on this guy right here I thought it was just a flat screwdriver tip that you could the the clamp the hose clamp but it's not it's actually six millimeters can you believe that so I'm using my six millimeter uh, wrench and it's actually quite loose look at all the dirt in there so we're gonna loosen that up and we wiggle the hose and it's actually coming off really really easy and I'm slowly pulling it down because I know it will squirt oil everywhere oh. it's actually not squirting oil it's, it's being pretty passive this one is a 19 millimeter socket So we got it off we got a little mesh filter uh, if you have air compressor it's good to blow it off from the breeze mine has a little chunk of something uh, I think it's just some RTV silicone maybe because it just kind of disappeared but I'm going to clean this off uh, the o-ring looks good and I'm gonna put it back in there so I cleaned this off I'm going to insert it back in its place Okay, so now we're going to fill up the bike with oil. And here it goes. So when the bike is in off position, I'm going to kick it a few times with the decompression lever in just to make sure that the oil goes down the tube, tubes and gets distributed inside the engine. Okay, here goes the second quart. Okay, while the oil from the bottle is still empty and inside the motorcycle, I'm going to put the skid plate on. So I'm going to warm up the motorcycle and then I'm going to check the oil level. Okay, now we're going to check, check the oil level dipstick. And it looks like it's the right amount. And that's how you change the oil on Suzuki DR350.